In terms of the best practices for After Effects when creating templates for Playly, we have a whole detailed section in our user manual on this topic. And a lot of these tips revolve around improving render speeds, getting smaller file sizes, and general things that you can do to get the best user experience possible. So make sure to read our user manual if you wanna get the fastest render speeds and if you wanna get the best UX. Some of the tips though are on the topic of formatting certain elements in After Effects. These certain elements are elements such as text and images and how to enable auto scale in After Effects. So no matter what text length you send or what image uh, dimensions you send, the Apple video will always look nice. And this video is going to cover the key tips and tricks on how to format your elements properly. So let's go over the key expressions and the key things you need to know when it comes to After Effects and plainly. So how to make text auto scale. Well, if you're using point text, which is the text that looks like this, and the main difference between point text and the paragraph text, which is the other option for text in After Effects, is that the point text is not bounded by a text area and it can go indefinitely in one line, with, whereas the paragraph text is actually bounded by a text area, meaning that any text that goes beyond that area is going to disappear. So if you're using point text, it's actually very easy to make it auto scale. All you have to do, so this is the point text. And if I go and add more characters to it, you will see that it's actually starting to auto scale. So what I did in order to achieve this is I actually created a bounding box, which is going to be the maximum width of this layer. And then I added this expression, which you can find in our user manual to the scale property of this point text. And what's this expression doing is basically, it's basically telling After Effects, okay, use the bounding box as the maximum width. If this layer goes beyond that width, scale it down. So you'll see that if I add more characters, the actual um, scale of this layer is becoming smaller and smaller. If you're using paragraph text, unfortunately, there isn't a way to auto scale this. Um, the only thing you can do is you can just make sure that you're accounting for the maximum length of this uh, layer, meaning that you have to take into the consideration the, the length of the text that is going to be dynamically swapped out and then just make sure that you take the maximum value, uh, make it look nice in After Effects and then just try to limit the input of your user or uh, the input of you during the rendering. What you can do though in After Effects is you can make the anchor point always centered. And this is gonna allow you to uh, have the text centered whatever the length of the text is. So if we just add uh, some characters, we will see that this text layer is actually always staying centered, which is something that you wanna see, obviously, uh, even though you can't control the auto scale. The third thing I want to cover is auto scale of image and video layers. So the method is the same, whether you're using an image or a video layer. And in this example, I'll just show it on an image. But generally, the first step you have to do is you have to create a pre comp, which is going to hold your image or video. And basically, that pre comp is going to be the container. So the pre comp should be the maximum size that you want to allow this asset to be. And make sure that you don't add any type of uh, keyframe to this image or video inside of your pre comp. Um, just simply add your animation keyframes on the pre comp itself. Now, the effect that is actually making the image auto scale is an effect that you can find in our user manual. Here, what you need to do is you need to simply download this effect, install the effect in your After Effects, and then apply the effect to the image or video inside of that pre comp. Once you do that, make sure that you make the first checkbox on. And then depending on whether your container, so to say, your pre-comp composition is horizontal or vertical, apply um, an expression to the second checkbox. So if the composition is vertical, make sure that you use this expression. If the composition is horizontal, make sure that you use this, this expression. 
Um, if your composition is square, you can just check first two boxes and it's gonna work. But basically we can see that I've added the expression to this second checkbox. And what this effect is doing, it is basically auto scaling. It's calculating what is the size of the composition that this image or video is in. And then it's scaling the image to fill this uh, pre-comp, which is gonna cause the asset to auto scale. And the fourth thing I want to cover is dynamic colors. So let's say you have some elements inside of your video that you want to dynamically swap the colors off. It's actually pretty easy. So all you have to do is you have to create a color control layer, which is going to be a text layer. And this text layer is going to contain the hex code of the color. So let's say we have this black rectangle here. And then what I need to do is I have to add an expression, which again, you have in our user manual here. Then I have to add an expression to the fill color of this rectangle. And in this expression, I'm going to reference the rectangle color text layer here. And now if I actually go ahead and change the value of this layer, I will see that the color of this layer is also changed.